I'm sure you guys can remember my cousin Snowbike. As you guys saw, I crashed it. That day was extremely fun, but unfortunately you guys didn't see the whole day because somehow I lost the footage, but now I found it. So instead of only giving you guys three minutes of entertainment, I figured we could change it up a little bit maybe. And when I say maybe, I mean definitely. We we played, now we have to work. Oh man. Is that? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll edit that out. What you guys didn't see was me explaining how Ronnie's bike actually worked and how he designed it and how he would design it differently. Well, my cousins invited me up to their shop today to introduce me to one of their projects. Here it is. We actually took it out already. We, we washed it all off. I ended up crashing it. Luckily, I didn't do any damage to the machine or myself, but uh, it, it's definitely fun. What he basically did, and I, I wanted to do this, but he beat me to it, is uh, actually just take the rear end of a snowmobile and slap it on a dirt bike. How the, the mechanics here. Instead of revolving this entire video on the mechanics of that bike, I figured we could sit back and look at the mechanics of life. I personally love making videos. Hey, do, you, do you want to talk to my viewers or you want me to talk to them or how do you want to? You want me to talk to them? Okay, so. There's a lot of you guys out there that wouldn't care about making videos with their time. You would rather play sports, go hiking, go biking, camping, traveling finding your soulmate, and things like that. So you're probably wondering what this box is in front of me, and what this second box is in front of me. These right here, the thousands of pieces of paper that are in these boxes is all fan mail. I've had a channel since 2009. It is currently 2017. It's been eight years. I invested eight years of my life on YouTube. Not complaining at all, I love it. This video along with any of my other videos, I won't complain. I'll give you facts, that's it. All these pieces of fan mail. If you added up all the time that it would take to read all this fan mail, along with all this fan mail, you probably would have read about 300 to 400 pages of a book. I've read every single letter that you guys have ever sent, and I keep them for my records. Because I love it, and I appreciate your appreciation of me. This is the only reason why I make videos every day. If I didn't have the support that I have that you guys give me, I would make a video probably once or twice a week. But with all the awesome comments in the comment section, and all the great fan mail, I do the videos I do every single day. I'm still uncertain how you're going to take this. Life has no rules. And who am I at 22 years of age to tell you what life is about and how it works? So instead of trying to do those things, I'm just going to say the one thing that, I, that the title is. Life has no rules. You're in the driver's seat. What you want to do with your life is completely up to you. What I personally suggest is find what you love to do, like to do, what makes you happy, and then do that and somehow try to make a living off of that. But you have to remember, nothing is easy. If everything was easy, everybody would be doing it. Currently and for the last eight months, I've been extremely happy with what I do for you guys on YouTube. And I do want to continue this. I also have a couple pieces of fan mail that I do want to include in this video. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. So basically what I have here is like five or six pieces of mail that I've actually set aside that stood out from the rest. And I just want to read a sentence or two out of each one of them and show my appreciation towards them. Writing cannot express how cool and great you are, man. Dalton, you gotta live life to the fullest. Don't let people or emotions keep you from being an amazing person. Just keep brapping it on. And of course there's no name. <laughs> My name is Brett L. I am 18 years old and I'm from Canada. I came across your channel about a year ago. It's fantastic. I love everything about it. Your positive attitude is contagious. Every time I'm feeling down, I watch a video and instantly feel great. This one's actually very crazy. And this one comes from Sean. He actually lives right near me. I wanted to write you to tell you about a recent accident I got into. My car lost control. I slid off the road into a ditch up and over driveway, taking out a standing railroad tie as an address marker and landing into another ditch in front of a person's house. Car was totaled and in pieces. Keep up the amazing work and stay froggy fresh. Sean H. And he says my stickers are indestructible apparently because it was still intact even after the crash. Sean, I hope you're safe. Thanks for writing, thanks for sharing. That's unfortunate, but I'm glad to hear that you're safe. 
dull and you provide excellent content in my opinion as I am a machine freak as well. You are offering a public service as a role model for the young people and I commend you for that. I am 29 years old and you remind me of a younger version of myself. So this one comes from Will D and he like me says do what makes you happy man even if you have to do a job that isn't that satisfying it will create the means to get to where you want to be and the opportunity to do what you love at a later date. Maintain your drive. A lot of speculists will look at my channel, look at my fan mail and say, hey, these are just kids writing to you to try to receive some praise from me. And yes, that might be true to an extent, but also I have some very, very successful people that write to me. I'm not being cocky. I'm simply showing you why I do these videos because this makes me happy. If you guys have any questions for me, leave it in the comment section below. Until tomorrow, 3 machines out. If you guys enjoyed this like one-on-one -on -one talk, let me know. Tip of the day, don't run with scissors. See ya.